All right, Joey's. I finally made it in Lake Clark Shores, Florida, a home of a different, a bunch of different species of tropical plants and tropical animals that can be found in southern Florida. Now, a lot of these plants and animals are extremely invasive and aren't native here, which are having a decimated, they are decimated many native populations of animals like birds, fish, and other wildlife that can be found originally in the state of Florida. Now, one of these invasive creatures that I do want to be finding today is the iguana. The green iguana can be found in South America and the Caribbean. These, these elusive predators, which are actually large reptiles, can be found in any, in any jungle basin and swamp in South America, Costa Rica, and, and different areas like that. They're found in South, in South Florida right here because from the pet trade they, they made their way over here. Now, even though they're elusive, they're pretty easy to catch and find because they're very common. Now, let's go and try and find one, Joey. Now, Joey's, if you're gonna find the elusive iguana, we gotta go find a place that's pretty sunny and has an area near a lake. Now, I know when I say a lake, you're thinking of an animal that can swim. And I know iguanas don't sound like the type of animal which are terrestrial that can swim at all. But these animals can be found in areas around Florida with lakes because they swim through it. Now, Joey's, if we need to find it, we gotta find a sunny spot. Let's go. All right, Joey's, we made it to the area now. I think I see a green iguana on the bank there right over here. It's really sunny and it's really pretty looking. Now, we have to be really quiet because we don't want the iguana actually finding us, nor do we do want the neighbors calling the cops because I don't want to go to jail again. I have a felony in three states. Let's go. Now, I think if we sneak up on it closely and maybe grab a net, we can find it. What's this, Jerry? It looks like a hat was brought down by the Australian gods, probably for the good work I've been doing for the country. This fits quite nicely. All right, Joyce, I think I'll see it. Let's go. All right, guys, I've just caught the iguana that I've been looking for. It's a beautiful species and it's green and it's really nice. I hope it doesn't bite me as I try and grab it out. If it does, that would hurt a lot. Now, Joey's, it is gonna try and escape, but it's a very beautiful species. <laughs> well, the thing is still about it is that they're very, they're very interesting animals. If you look at it, you can see there's a very beautiful green background. And he's very pretty, he's a very nice animal. As you can see, he's not that scared right now. He's very pretty, and he's got a very cute little tail right here. Now, Joey's, these are extremely invasive. They come from the, they come from the uh, jungles of the Amazon in different parts of the Caribbean. And they're actually not native here in Florida. But, you know, as an Australian myself, I can easily say that it is a beautiful animal. He's a very nice creature. And he's not very, he's not very, uh, not very mean at all. You see, see, he's not biting me. He's pretty docile. Look how beautiful the tail is. Such a beautiful animal we have right here. All right, Joey's, it was a good day trying to catch the elusive green iguana. Now, even though these species are elusive and invasive, when I was holding him, he was actually quite nice. He let me hold me and he never bit me once. Now, this is a very cool day, Joey's. I'm doing my soup deal and I gotta go back to Australia. See you later.